With the recent changes to the Cisco certifications, a common question and concern that I keep seeing is the CSENT worth it? That's what we're talking about in today's video. And of course, this video is proudly sponsored by Cyberay.it. If you guys are looking to improve on your IT training, I highly suggest using Cyberay. They offer free video training and you guys can access their premium labs and their premium practice exams as well if you utilize my coupon code ITCQ50, which will save you 50% off your premium membership. Check out the link in the description below for more information. If you're unfamiliar with Cisco CSENT, it's the Cisco's Certified Entry Networking technician certification and this is an entry level certification from Cisco and it's really a great certification to get you the skills and the requirements needed to land an entry level networking position and it's even required in other entry level roles in IT as well. Before we talk more of the details of the Cisco CSENT we're going to talk about its current value. Here's some screenshots from indeed.com which is a great search engine when you guys are looking for jobs. As you guys can see here on the screen there are over 450 jobs currently requesting the CSENT certification here are some of these job titles just so you guys kind of have an idea there are jobs out there requesting the CSENT right now and is this going to change that's going to be one of the big questions will the CSENT lose value is this just going to completely go away and before we can really answer that we really need to talk about what's happening so what happens next February 23rd, 2020, the CSENT will be retired. But what does that mean? Does the CSENT just completely go away? Is it completely useless, valueless? Well, if you take the exam on February 23rd, 2020, that certification is still good for three years. So February 23rd, 2023, that is when that certification would expire if you did take that certification exam and passed on February 23rd, 2020. So if you're studying for your CSENT currently and you're going to take that very soon, just keep in mind that it is still good for three years after your passing date. Which leads me to, should you even bother at this point? Should you even go and take it? If you're currently studying for the CSENT, how close are you? How close are you to actually going and taking that exam? That is the big question. Because if you're really close to actually going and taking that certification and hopefully passing that exam, then yes, it is absolutely worth it to continue down your path and take the CSENT certification exam. What's the point of that though? That is one of the big questions. Why should I even bother keep going and taking the certification if it just retires in a few months? Well, you are gaining knowledge. You're getting validation that you have the skills and you've taken the CSENT. So you're certified. You have a certification that is a verified, a valued certification that people are still requesting. And that's not going to go away. And part of this, again, with taking the certification, gaining these skills, gaining the knowledge that you get from the CSENT, it helps you towards getting a job. Now, is it gonna help you advance? Yes, it can help you advance. However, you do have to keep in mind that while it is going away and you will no longer be able to take it, companies will still be looking at the CSENT certification as validation to skills. So that's the key point here. This certification is still going to be valuable and we won't really find out how much that value decreases until February 23rd of 2020. But again, keep in mind that even after that date, it's still good for three years, which means that you could still utilize that certification on your resume and it still validates your skills, which is a key aspect of getting into entry level jobs, of getting into jobs period, is having something that validates your skills. Now, what happens after this? What's the next stepping point, right? Because once it retires, well, you're obviously not going to be able to take that exam again. You won't be able to recertify that exam. So when that time comes, when your CSENT does expire, you will have to look at taking one of the different Cisco certifications like a CCNA or above, which is great because once you pass the CSENT, you're already on that stepping stone towards advancing to one of the higher level certifications. So my suggestion to you is to keep studying. If you're going for that CSENT, go for the CSENT, take it. There's nothing stopping you. And it's not going to lose that much value because it's still going to be a validation of your skills, as I've said numerous times in this video. If you guys feel as though you're prepared enough to take the CCNA, you guys can knock that out as well. But keep in mind that the CCNA is changing as well. I'm gonna to link to the video that I previously put out that highlights many of the changes that Cisco 
just talked about and just released. And we're gonna have more videos to come so you guys can understand all of these changes and prepare for what you need to do next. But as far as the CSENT goes, it's still gonna have value. Companies are still gonna look at that certification as something that shows that you have the skills that it takes to do some of these different jobs out there in the IT world. Now, don't be discouraged that they've retired this, they're getting rid of it. I know that's frustrating, but one of the things about IT is there's always changes. Things always evolve. Things are always just being thrown out into the air and it becomes a cluster at times, right? That's expected in the IT world. So hunker down, get the CSENT done and over with, and good luck to you. I hope this video helps answer some of your questions, puts your mind at ease maybe. And if you guys have any other comments, questions, concerns, make sure you guys hit me up in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. That's it for today's video. As always, take it easy.